Yo, what is it guys? So for today, I'm talking about Destiny 2. I've been doing this a lot. Uh, I actually have a lot of content since the director's cut with Luke Smith. So, I have a lot of thoughts, concerns, and possibly solutions. So, if you guys didn't like any of these solutions, feel free to share it with whoever the fuck you want. Just make sure Bungie sees this because I think I have some good ideas. Especially the Menagerie video I made. I think that was pretty cool. So... We're going to be talking about how Luke Smith said that they want to invest more in the core activities, which I think is a fantastic fucking idea. I think it's amazing. And honestly, I think the way to do it, a good way to do it would be a season of the core, I guess you would call it. And basically that would just be immediate, like Vanguard, Crucible and Gambit are all getting refreshed. They're all getting new armors. They're all getting new weapons. Vanguard's getting new strikes a fuck ton. They're getting strikes from D Destiny 1. Just bring them all back. Don't even be like, oh, we got, you're getting three. Just bring them all back. You're bringing them back with not only their old strike-specific loot, but new strike-specific loot. You're giving all the strikes, strike-specific loot, and Nightfall loot. And then Nightfalls, specifically, like the Nightfall ordeal and everything, I think those are fine the way they are. Uh... The Master Nightfall, although, that one I'm kind of iffy. I don't know what the reward would be. It better be worth it. That's all I'm saying. And then the old Nightfall strikes that you could do from the old activities. I think those are fine as well. Uh, Yeah, I think those are fine. I don't have a really much issue with those either. I think increase them to like have four strikes instead of three, maybe. Other than that, I think they're fine. And... Crucible would probably, honestly, I know a lot of people wouldn't like this, but I think the 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 ability to choose whatever game mode you want would be ideal. Like, whatever game mode I want to do, I would love the option to choose that. I do understand that cuts the player population a lot, but it also just gives us more freedom to play other stuff. I think new modes as well would be so much like it, it we need we need new more new game modes and it's not even like it's hard it would be amazing if we had like a infected for destiny 2 we yeah what happened to arms like whatever it's called the one where we had ships and shit or not ships uh vehicles what happened to that we could have that back like Crucible specifically, there's a bunch of stuff they could do that I can't get into this video, but new modes, the ability to choose whatever mode you want to play, and then probably more incentive, especially more inse incentive. Like, maybe after each initial level up, you get a reward, like a good reward, not like a bad reward. Like, oh, here's a weapon. That's shitty. No, I'm talking like, here's like five enhancement cores. Oh, next one, another 5, 10, 20, and then for Legend, 30 or 20, I don't know. Gambit, I feel like Gambit's the one that's going to be the hardest one. So, so Gambit, I think, would need new armor. I think a new, not a new game mode per se, but a new style would be dope. Um, something that's a little bit faster because I feel like normal Gambit's just chill. Gambit Prime is very, like, long haulish. I think something quick for Gambit Prime would be dope. Like, I don't even know what you would call it. But something really fast for Gambit Prime. Something like maybe you have increased speed and... Dog, like actually, now that I think about it... <sighs> Destiny 2 should just be coming to another engine. Like, immediately. Like, the move... Gambit would work so well with the move movement of Titanfall 2. Oh, that would be great. But... That's just fantas fant fantastical thinking. For Gambit, I would probably say uh, a game mode that's more quick, more fast, and more ar like new armor for fuck sure. Like we need new armor, new weapons, and each for Gambit and Gambit Prime. I think I think Gambit Prime. You should still be able to get the old armor from like maybe packages that Drifter has that you can get through leveling, but New armor, new weapons for sure. And then I don't know what they would do with the Reckoning, but if they do reuse it, I feel like they should like make a new, er not a new area, but a new way of doing Reckoning. So 
those are pretty much it for the core. I guess if you want to get technical, you, you, they could revamp like lost sectors. They could revamp uh, patrols. I could revamp a lot of stuff because I know for a lot of Destiny 2 players, lost sectors, <coughs> lost sectors are a really good way to farm whatever you need. I remember back in Destiny 1, it was really good for faction rallies and I know that they were good for XP or whatever for now. And I know that Bungie doesn't like us playing that way, but I mean, why the fuck would we not use... I don't understand their thought process when it comes to Lost Sectors, honestly, because if, I'm, if I can do something faster in a Lost Sector, I'm gonna do it. Other than that, I will never touch a Lost Sector. So that's just my thought on Lost Sectors, but I think they need to revamp everything like really like the whole game is just kind of like very stagnant and if they can do that for vanguard oh I, like let me tell you guys if they can just do that change for vanguard alone the game will be literally almost fixed because that's a majority of what we're missing we're missing strike specific loot nightfall specific loot like we're missing so much and then like the strikes half the time aren't even worth it like can you tell me a favorite strike that you've done in destiny 2 that you're just like, oh, this is my favorite, hands down. Now, if you're a Destiny 1 veteran, tell me a strike that you remember or just love to do in Destiny 1. Because I can tell you immediately, none of the strikes in Destiny 2 have even compared to my favorite in Destiny 1. Which is, obviously I don't remember the name because I'm not that deep into it, but it's the one that came with the famous fucking joke where it's like, oh, we, we made a war with a... Uh, Cabal on Mars, that one, that, that, that fucking strike, guys, I remember doing that strike, and I've, pr I've told this story before, but I've done this, that Nightfall by myself with Icebreaker in the back, and I can tell you some of the best times with me fucking one-manning that shit, and I don't have that in Destiny 2. Another one is the strike to get Imago Loop, that was a dope one too, it's just, I think what we're missing is not only strike-specific loot, it's the incentive because Imago Loop was dope. I remember one of the fucking shoulders for the for the Titans when you had to kill the brother, the Cabal brothers. That shit was fire. It took me forever to get that. Like some of the armor, I'll probably have it up in the screen, but some of the armor that you got from Strike Specific Loot was probably the most memorable in the game. And <clears throat> I remember for the Hunters, we ended up getting the cloaks from the these whatever the fuck they're called the cabal dudes i forget the really skinny dudes but yeah i just i just miss that i miss strikes being fun i miss like just going into the strike playlist and playing for like three hours because it's just like oh well it doesn't matter what strike i'm doing i'm gonna get something so if they can do that with vanguard the game's pretty much almost fixed if they can do the changes with crucible and gambit together oh dog even more amazing but what i realistically see them doing is doing like a season of the strike season of the crucible season of the gambit and that's when all the changes would come into play because i can tell you right now if they have fast any of these that season is going to be fucking garbage so if you ask me tony what's the realistic thing they should do honestly season of the vanguard i think they should do it through season like seasonally it'll be more easy for them more easy it'll be easier for them to do that but me personally what i sh what i would tell them like you should just rip the fucking band-aid and then just release everything vanguard crucible and gambit related all in one season that way just get it out of the way because if you do it in three seasons i can guarantee you the uh, season of the vanguard might be dope but season of the crucible and gambit are gonna be one of the weakest seasons because not a lot of people fuck with crucible and definitely not a lot of people fuck with gambit so you would have to do all three at the same time. And that doesn't even like bring into account like the faction, not the faction, I'm sorry. I would love that, but no, realistically, no. That doesn't bring into account like vendors, like vendors would need refreshes like ASAP, <laughs> unless they're just gonna do away with them because we still have vendors from dif different seasons and whatnot that aren't doing anything. So that's the only thing I'm kind of like really wondering about what they're going to be doing next season, next year pretty much is what are you guys going to do to make ava uh, ava ava 801 yeah 
Ada won the dude from Menagerie, which I forget his name. And then everyone for Forsaken. What are you guys going to do to make them a character? Like, for the next seasons. And, uh, heirs. Like, what are you guys going to do to keep them in the game? Because if not, scrap it. Like, leave them. Because that's how it was in Destiny 1's DLCs, where after t after the Dark Below, Eris left. She left. She dipped for a while. And then Taken King came out, and that's when everything kind of normalized, and then we had those DLCs. So, you know, it just it brings a lot of questions. But me personally, if they invest more in the core activities and actually go balls deep where they're just like, yeah, we brought all the strikes from Destiny 1. We have do two different playlists that you can do, which is basically destiny one or destiny two and then we have a one mega list where it's just like whatever you get is whatever you get i would be okay with that i would be okay with a lot oh my god i would be so okay with that to be honest but that's it, it comes with a that comes with a few bad things as well like let's say you want a night nightfall specific loot you're gonna have to wait a while if they bring back all the vanguard uh all the destiny one strikes at that point i think the ability to pick like i think one way would be cool the, uh, la, 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 let me articulate my thoughts i think one cool way to like change that up is if we could choose our own strike or our own nightfall for the week or for a day or whatever i think that would be amazing because the nightfalls not the nightfall ordeal but the regular nightfalls i feel like they're kind of just like they're just for people to farm a certain weapon that they still don't have if they can choose that i think that would be great because then it's like okay i chose that and i need to farm this and if i don't get this this week then i can just choose it again i think that would be amazing i think that the choice of like okay i need to pick a off i need to pick i need to pick a faction to pick Fuck! why do you keep saying faction I need to pick a nightfall to pick so that way I can get whatever I need. I think that would be a great way to do it. But I do understand that rant like F like FOMO, like you you would want them to have more FOMO. Like, oh shit, I didn't Me personally, I like I said, I would love the ability to choose what nightfall I would want, but I can also see why Bungie wouldn't want that because a player could ultimately choose one for each week get all of that and then they'd be done with all of the nightfall weapons and or nightfall or uh rewards but i think that's where strike specific loot comes into play where just do a strike <laughs> that's it so i have a lot of things to say about this one on honestly i could care less about a few things here and there like crucible honestly i want them to fix it but at the same time i'm just kind of i gave up on that uh, Gambit, I fuck, sh I for sure gave up on that shit ages ago. So I just want them to fix Vanguard. Like just, just give me stuff from from the old seasons, like or the old from Destiny One. Like give me, if you don't give me all of the all, all of the strikes, then at least give us the strikes that people remember the most. Like Omni Ghoul, the the one on Mars, the actually the few, actually all of them on Mars were really dope, but. Just give us the ones that were memorable and that had a like a like a, a reward of it. That's it. Just do that. Me personally, I would love the first idea where they just kind of revamp all the core activities. Give us all of the stuff from what I just said, basically. And yeah, I think that would fix a lot of the games or a lot of the game's issues. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys would do for the change instead of my idea, because I do think my idea is a little bit too hopeful, but Again, uh, hoping is free, and uh, the only person I, that gets disappointed is me. So let me know what you, in the comments what you guys think. Let me know what you guys would do in the, in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I do apologize for all the fumbling and fuck ups I've been saying throughout this whole uh, video. I'm not gonna edit it out because that's gonna take too long. But I, I'm just an idiot. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. And other than that, I will see you guys later.